Hello folks, welcome back to my channel. Recently I came across a new spotting website or spotting tool for portable activities like POTA, SOTA, Worldwide Fauna Flora. It is developed by Ian Mike Zero Tango Romeo Tango, who, as he writes on his webpage, is a software developer and builder of robots. And folks, this is really cool. Let me show it to you. Let's start with Ian's website, where you can find other cool projects like the POTA New Park Finder. Uh, but today I want to talk about the Field Spotter. Let's have a closer look. Yeah, a nice uh, world map based on OpenStreetMap. And you can see the day and the night zone. And actually there are a lot of spots in North America. This is because here in Europe we are after sunset. Let me zoom in a little bit closer to where my home QDH is. Uh, this is using uh, geolocation services of course. And I show you later where you can set the location manually. So this is my home QDH. Let's start uh, with the menu in the upper right hand corner. The first uh, button up here is an info button with a brief uh, manual how to use this tool. Uh, the second button is uh, for filtering. Let's have a closer look to that. First of all you can set up the uh, spot age. So I think one hour is a little bit too much, but you can set it for, I, I prefer 10 minutes or so, because if a station is respotted all the time, then uh, you can see uh, the station is still active. And here you can set uh, filters for parks on the air, worldwide fauna flora, SOTA, Global Mountain Award, Castles on the Air, Iota, Mills on the Air and Lighthouses on the Air. So let's go with uh, POTA and SOTA just for the demo. And you can uh, filter for a phone, CW and Digi. Let's go with phone. And of course you can uh, filter for bands. I want to see spots only for 80, 40, 20, then up to 10 meters. I don't want to see spots on 6 meters, 4 meters and uh, the VHF and UHF bands. And you can uh, also show spots or stations uh, already QRT and uh, stations uh, in yeah, pre-QSY state. So they, they have spotted QSY so they uh, will change the band. Let's zoom out a little bit and let's go to North America because we can see a little bit more here. Uh, let's click show QRT spots. So there are a number of spots, one, two, three, four stations are already QRT. And uh, let's see if we can, uh, if we can see any pre-QSY spots. It's no. If you click on a spot, you can see the information, the call sign, the park number, the park name, um, the frequency he is on, uh, the mode he is on, that's in SSB, the distance in kilometers, and uh, yeah, uh, when he is last spotted, and uh, any comments. So he needs six more. And if we zoom out, you can uh, see also the line between his QDH and my home QDH. Spots with this little tree icon are for parks on the air. And this is a mountain. Oh, it's, there are two spots actually on uh, Martinique. This is a summit on the air spot. 
and we have another Park Zone DL spot as well. Behind the next menu item you will find the display options. If you prefer dark mode you can switch it on here and you have this passive display mode which uh, turns on these uh, bubbles here. It's very convenient if you uh, want to have a brief overview of what's going on you can turn it on. I'm not sure what uh, enable animation means. I have not seen any difference. Uh, maybe this is related to my browser. I'm not sure. I'm using Firefox here at the moment. Um, but I will ask Ian. And as I told you earlier, uh, here you can set your own position manually, if you like. And what's also really cool is if you enable respotting. This is currently for parks on the air only. You have to type your call sign into this field and if you now click on a spot you can respot him. Uh, let's simply uh, well, I haven't worked him but let's let's respot him. And if I switch over to the Parks on the Air website, you can see I have respotted him. Sorry, folks, this is uh, this was just a test. You also have a link to QRZ.com or if you like MQTH.com. Let's uh, let's take QRZ and I click on his call sign, and I'm redirected directly to his QRZ page and you have also a direct link to the park if you like um, or to the uh, reference link uh, of the program. In this case it's a park. Let's click on it and uh, we can see all the information about this park. If you don't like that you can turn it off then simply move away from the spot, click it again and uh, you still can see the information here but it's not, uh, there's no link behind, it's not clickable anymore. And if you turn frequency links to web SDR on, you can um, enter the URL of your favorite uh, web SDR here and then let's click the spot again and if you click on the frequency you are redirected to the web SDR. The next menu item is showing the API status. So a link to POTA, SOTA is OK. Global Mountain Award is OK. And uh, WWFF is actually disabled. You may ask why uh, WWFF is disabled. Uh, it's because I have disabled it in the filter options. Let's go back and uh, now it's OK. Then you can set the uh, update uh, time, update data every 2 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes. Let's go with 5 minutes, that's OK for me. Or you can force a manual update by clicking on update now. And here we go. But what I like the most, uh, let me zoom out a little bit. What I like the most is the band scale. That's really, really nice. If you click, uh, for example, on N6HU, the map uh, will pan to N6HU. You can see all the information. Let's uh, choose another one. KK7WWW. It's also highlighted here on the 20 meter band scale. Let's choose another one. Whiskey 2 Bravo Yankee. Let's, uh, let's choose the uh, station in Ireland there. And as you can see, um, all the other band scales uh, disappear because uh, there is only one spot and uh, this is on 20 meters. Let me zoom out a bit and let's go back to North America and all the band scales appear again. 
By the way, the design of the web page is responsive, so you can also use it on your smartphone or on your tablet. Folks, I cannot emphasize enough how great this website is. It's easy to use and very useful 